Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Airflow and welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is sorting out a problem that I've had with the Civic for quite a while now, actually. I was driving up to Wales one day and all of a sudden the sat-nav just cut out. And uh, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the fuse or it's actually the cigarette lighter itself that needs replacing. We're going to try and attempt to fix it today. So, I'm in my shed right now and I know it's a bit of a mess, I'm sorry about that. But what we're going to be needing is the multimeter. We're going to be using this to figure out... Where the problem is if it's in the fuse or it is actually the cigarette lighter itself. Now, I've got these leads here, so I'm going to need a spare pair of hands. So I'm going to go see what's going on around my house and see if I can get someone to do it for me. So, let's get right into the video, guys. Right, Phil, I need a spare pair of hands. So chuck a shirt and we're making a video. Right, guys, I'm a bit out of my depth here. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Phil seems to know what he's doing, so I'm going to record him doing it. He's just got in the car now. Well, basically, the fuel, uh, I thought... The, the, the box, the fuse box, was on underneath the bonnet, but it turns out it's somewhere underneath there. So, and it looks like it's a common fault with these cars anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally just record Phil doing it for me. <laughs> and then, and then um, we'll see how it goes from there. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. I got the bar, yeah. I don't got these special glasses on. <laughs> is that how you do it? <laughs> it's your special glasses on. All right, now. So... The fuse box is right under there. It's right under here. Right. So, are you getting... Can you get the fuel box out or do you have to no, leave it No, it'll be a nightmare getting it out. But I'd read up that it's number 18. Yeah. So, if you can find... If there's numbered If, it, if on you it, can just get the... What's it called? If you can just get... Yeah. See, I can't even see you'll, see you'll see the number 18 somewhere on the ear anyway. Right, so, you yeah. just find the one, rip it out. That's probably not the best tool to use. You should use one of them. Yeah, you, you get you get the proper ones, you get them in the newer yeah. cars, don't that, you? That's not ideal, but it does the job, so yeah. you have to do with what you bait your cock, really. Right, I'm going to watch my car while I open the door. Right, I'll hold the door there, because that's as far as it's going to go. Not your light. Right, I haven't got one. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm using my phone for once. Have you got it? I think so, but it's not knackered. Let's have a look. Let me show the camera. I think that's number 18, I don't know. It's, it's got number 20 written on it, Phil. Yeah, I know, that's the fuse number. Yeah, well, it says the fuse number's 18. As you can see, guys, there's nothing wrong with that one whatsoever. That Phil. Is, that is number 18. This is number 18. Yeah. So this, guys, is number 18. It doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it. So, oh, what you could do is just take all the fuses out, and then you'll find one that's knackered, put it in, and most of the time it does work. How do you know that's 18 if it's got 20 written on it? Because that's not the number of the fuse, that's how many amps it's got on it. Right, so take, put that one back in, right, Ow. and take the one that says 18 amps on it, and let's have a look at that. They won't have 18 amps on it, they only go up to 5 fives. How do you know it's number 18 then? Because they're numbered at the bottom. Ah, right, I got you. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take every fuse out. So make sure they all go back in the right space yeah, though. Yeah, you do one at a time, it won't take me long to find this. Right, okay then. Well, you Right, sorry guys that this video turned out as a bit of a mess. I didn't expect it to be this complicated. I thought the, the fuse box was on the bonnet, but then again it's a Honda. You can't expect anything, you know, like easy to do on it. So, uh, right now Phil's, all Phil's doing is just ripping out the, all, the, <laughs> all the fuses. I don't know. He's, hopefully he's putting them back in the right order because I can't deal with anything else going on this yeah, car. Times, Done it plenty of times, have you, Phil? Yeah, I've even put them in the wrong order once. You never want to do that. Sometimes a car won't start. <laughs> All right, okay, that's good. That's good to know. No, uh, but you get there in the end. So originally, guys, what we were just going to do is just um, replace the cigarette lighter, but it turns out that that, that isn't Did you say how many the case. It has two. I read up on the internet that it has between 12 and 14 amps. So it'll be a 15 then. Could be a 15, yeah. Why have you got one in there that's knackered that's a 15? It's hard to see until it's dead. And they're all good so far. So then if, it, if they're all good, then that means it is the... We're going to have to pay... We're going to have to take a trip down to Halfords, aren't we? No, hold on. you got a knackered one here. Right, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look. How do you know it's knackered? Because the thing, you know, like, um, I'll get another one out, I'll show you. Yeah, go get, make sure it goes back in the right space, though. I can't oh, deal with my car not starting. It's uh, inconspicuous, so you can't go wrong. Right. Now you can see there, you see how it's connected there? 
like in the when you see through it yeah. you see like the connector there yeah. look at that one it's not connected is it it's knackered you see the thing in the middle where yeah. the white wait it's zigzag like that yeah there isn't one there is there no it's fucked so that blue one there is our damaged fuse and that's a 15 into it let's have a look yep that's 15, a 15 15 amp right okay then so we're gonna go with that right where do we buy new fuses from you can get them at the local garage i would imagine they're normally for free yeah do you reckon they'll sell them in outfits? I honestly don't, I honestly don't know. Can, right, guys. I think you can go, I think you can go half a chair and have a loop, but... It's just... Right guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a look, a bit, little of a look online, and uh, if I can't, because today's bank holiday Monday, so there's no garages open whatsoever. So if I, uh, I'm going to have a look on outfits, if I can't find one on there, I'm going to have to scrap the video and come back to it another day, but I'll still upload it just so you guys can laugh at our misery. Um, <laughs> so bear with me guys, I'm just going to double check that they sell them in Halfords. Alright guys, so it turns out they do sell them in Halfords. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to lock the house up, because there's no one in at the moment. I'm just going to lock the house up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop down Halfords and hopefully finish this video off, and hopefully it's working at the end of this. So uh, just a quick mid break. He's a gorgeous boy, aren't you Max? That's Mad Max, you guys have never seen him on the channel before. Hit a like if you do like him. If you want to give him a stroke, leave a comment and I might invite you out for a stroke. Oh, I'm only joking, that's weird though. Right guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to head off Alfred, so I'll see you all in a bit. Alright guys, so we're back from Alfred's, we've got our bits and bobs, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put these fuses in, it comes from 10 to 30 amps, there's like 5 of them in there or something like that. £2.50. Yeah. £2.50, not too bad, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it's this in. cheaper with the Halfords card. I know, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to put these in and see if it works, and if it doesn't, then what are we going to do then? We'll go to the pub. We'll go to the pub if it'll work. <laughs> right, guys, let's get into it. <laughs> right, so we reckon it's this one here. It's just 15 on it somewhere. It's harder to see than the other one, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, that is a 15. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see, isn't it? It's not focusing. Right, I've popped that in. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll give it a go and see if it works. Are we in? We're in. Right, that didn't take too long. So, uh, <laughs> I'd say <laughs> better anticlimax if you <laughs> So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the car up. Oh, put my finger in the way. Alright. I don't know where my fire lighter is. Right, there we go, we're in. What we're going to do now, just want to plug this in. This tells us if it's working or not. Hey, we've got a green light, guys. It's working. So what it was is it was the broken fuse, not actually that itself. So, uh, got on. <laughs> very good. Very Phil. good. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Right. All right, guys. We're all done for the video then. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. So like I say, a big thanks for Phil for helping me out. You'll see him a lot more in the videos to come. If you want to see more videos... Rest your soul. <laughs> if you want to see more videos, hit the bell icon. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.